Florida Image came after finishing two other fictional books, Ren Rose's Cry and Repeat Offender. Both of those are high on drama and thrilling elements but have a twang of inspiration in on them. This means that both Repeat and Roses do have a slight message to them, but it's not so overt. This was of course done on purpose because it was meant to be more entertaining than inspirational. However, the golden image was created to be a little different. This book was written from a perspective of inspiring people based on the various lessons in the Bible. As a matter of fact, the idea was to get this book published by an outside publisher who specializes in religious novels. That didn't work, but this ended up actually being fantastic. Because when Golden Image was being written, the various short stories were not connected. The idea to tie those stories together came after the rejection letter and the mindset to do so what I was doing before with the several other books, which it was like, well, why not publish it yourself? Really not exactly sure why they didn't come to me from the jump, but it did come a little bit later. So, this book is a series of 13 stories that are all allied by various characters in Sheridan Falls. Each story is inspired by a different biblical passage or story and this helped create a framework for the book. The idea to have every character associated or the story told by a young person came when it was apparent that there aren't many stories out there like that. Well, at least at the time when it was written. And after that, it was simple. Let's make sure that either young person that could be from elementary school through college age is telling the story or a youth is helping others in the story meaning that they play a very much a centralized role in that story. This was important so young people can read themselves in a story and realize that they might relate or be inspired from the various people that they're reading about. Now this is why there are a death of people who are representing a multitude of ethnic cultures and ideas throughout the stories. This way we're not stuck in one group is only being represented everyone else just better get in line and get in the background characters no I want to make sure that you can read this book and feel like that you that's right you the reader is a citizen of Sheridan Falls also I hope people enjoy reading different parts of the Bible and realize how it can connect to the modern day well I guess believer or modern day citizen as well often we look at the Bible as some archaic text that was good for the past but has no bearing for today. Well, anyone in the church should never ever have this mindset. But it has to be hard when the stories seem to be so far removed from our modern day practices and behavior. Therefore, although the book is for young people, but in reality, this the golden image can be for everyone. We all can read a piece of the Bible and gain some knowledge on how that relates to our lives today. Now, as for the main theme in the book, overcoming trials and hardship, um, to be honest, this actually came by accident. And what I'm saying is that when writing out the stories, it was never the intention that everyone, and every character, should have to overcome some internal or external strife. Grant, I guess that's life in general and overcoming issues and learning how to be a better person from them and. Overcoming things is actually just a great story element, but this wasn't actually the initial purpose of the golden image. There was no theme in the beginning. Not for real. The theme was simply, let's just use biblical stories and loosely translate them into the modern day. That's it. But when writing each story, it began to dawn on me that everyone had to overcome something or someone. And sometimes that could be internal, you know, personal stuff, friends, it could be your society, schoolmates, so much more. So upon seeing this, it became more evident to instill these ideas on purpose after the first draft in each of the stories. And the goal was to make sure that someone could read the story, learn the character, learn the issue, and to see the process of how that character overcame that particular issue. This is why with each story, it's not just for young people, but can be for all. 
we, we don't stop overcoming issues once we become adults and as a matter of fact they probably increase as we get older this means that stories found in the golden image that were inspired by the holy bible can lead all of us to thriving even in terrible times when reading this book i want you to enjoy and of course be entertained but i also hope that you are inspired to overcome any situation that might be coming your way or that you might be in and of course hopefully you've learned from any situation that you've already overcome you can do it i know you can and i know you know you can overcome anything now sometimes it's tough in this book everyone's situation is not the same Everyone doesn't go through a similar issue or everyone's issue isn't um, the exact same as far as threat level. Some is almost life threatening, others is just something you're trying to get over for that day. But everyone doesn't overcome issues either in the same manner. And everyone's life doesn't mean that it was just easy just to be able to get where they are now. However, if you can overcome any situation that comes your way, just remember in whom is there to help and guide through a terrible situation. Be blessed. Thanks for your support. And I hope that at least going forward, starting today, your life will be better than what it was when it started this morning. And for more information on the Golden Image, Check out the links in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and I really do hope you have an excellent day.